Yes, whereas there can be mistakes, and there is no organization without internal contradictions. But ensure that you protect the airline, and it should not appear like you are sabotaging your own investment. Uganda national career has been on spotlight over alleged mismanagement of the airlines that led to the said untold losses. This is according to the Auditor General's report of 2020-2021. The ongoing investigations by COSASE, a parliamentary accountability committee, has established that besides losses incurred, most top officials are being paid hefty salaries. However, flight captain Mike Mukula has weighed in on this. It's also important for you to know that the Cost-bearing is therefore reflected across board because um, an executive or CEO, chief executive officer of um, Ethiopian Airlines or Kenya Airways or a carrier like um, South African Airlines function in such a way that you must have them very well paid. If you don't pay pilots well, you are definitely compromising the security uh, aspect of the aircrafts. Mukula says the salaries of aviation staff across the world are determined in accordance with the aviation standards. It's also important for you to note that pilots in the country, for Uganda Airline, Kenya Airways, Ethiopian Airlines, Air Rwanda, or Rwanda Air, and so on and so forth, must get comparatively equal to what the other colleagues get. Otherwise, you're going to lose, there will be a hemorrhage. He says qualification requirements of the top officials should not be the main focus of COSASE's investigations. Qatar Airways has done extremely very well. There is no professionalism in it in that the person is an aviator. But the principle here is that he has got the zeal and the energy, the resilience to manage such a dynamic airline. Uganda Airlines officially kicked off operations in 2019. In a survey done by Ernest Young, it estimated that the airlines will reach the break-even point after at least five to six years of operation. As an aviation expert, Mukula says the losses that the airlines has made can easily be recovered when the airlines reach the break-even point. The clear indication is very clear, is very indicative of loss-making. So this should not worry anybody because their initial capital investments like marketing, the initial capital investments like the wages, they are also opening of the new offices. He has advised Kosase on the mode of investigations conducted by other countries, which he says is usually done in respect of privacy. And my advice would be to Kosase. They can carry out, continue carrying out their oversight functions. But a national carrier is very sensitive. It is extremely, extremely very dynamic. That any disadvantage or whenever you shoot your own ship, you are sinking your own boat. In terms of marketing and branding, you are making it difficult for the marketeers to set and brand Uganda Airlines as a major carrier. The Committee on Commission's Statutory Authority and State Enterprises is responsible for investigations into accountability by all public agencies. Susan Naung and Henry Kroot reporting for ABC TV.